Hello guys, it's time to craft. Let's go. Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. And you know why I know it's Thanksgiving? Because that's when I said I was going to upload this video to the channel. So anyway, um, we are going to be creating two Hobby Lobby inspired pieces. And we are going to first start with our first one. It is a Noel planter. And what you saw me doing in the previous clip was spray paint three jars that was purchased from the Dollar Tree in the colors red, green, and white. And now I'm taking this coffee sign that was purchased at the Guardian Angel Thrift Store and applying some of this Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color linen white to both sides of the planter. I did apply several coats to make sure that the coffee word did not bleed through. And then I just dried it using my heating tool and now I am actually applying some of this burnt umber paint by Apple Barrel in a distressing manner around the whole entire piece, both top side, bottom side, and side to side. <laughs> anyway, guys, I pray that you all had a great Thanksgiving. I have enjoyed myself so much. I've enjoyed spending time with my children and my mother um, and just really just loving on the moments that I can spend and cherishing every moment that I can spend with my mother as well as with my husband, children, grandson. Um, I just had a great time. So as you can see, I am heavily distressing this and then you will see me move towards the next clip where I am now taking these letters that I purchased from the Dollar Tree to spell out the word Noel. And then I just use my hand to kind of say, oh, this is my guide. This is where I need to apply these letters. But you will see me have to manipulate that again once I actually added the jars back into the base or the base of the planter base. I'm going to get it out. I'm going to get it out. I'm still full from the turkey. And now I'm just wrapping some of this jute um, rope that you can purchase from the Dollar Tree. I should call this more of a twine because it's not as thick as the rope that you can purchase from the Dollar Tree. And actually this twine came from Walmart. It was on a big roll. And I have created a little bows to go in front of them using this jute twine and just cleaning up some of the areas that you know had some bleeding but nevertheless we are going to make bows and these bows will go on the front sides of each jar and I'm burning the frays off of them I do not like that look I like the clean finish and so, again, I burn all the frays off of the jars. And now I'm trying to see what the jars would look like as far as um, in relation to the inspired piece. So I'm just adding some of these floral picks that I purchased from um, Dollar Tree. And now I'm getting ready to make the handles for this using the jute rope and you can see the difference in the rope versus the twine the rope is a little thicker and then I'm just adding the glue to the edges to kind of keep it from unraveling and then it was too long so I just cut it in half and now I'm adding some of this jute twine to the edges of the rope to give it more of a knot appearance And remember, what you do to one side, you want to do to the other. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome. Please make sure you watch the video. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. And welcome back to all of my returning subscribers and welcome to my new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. I really 
do appreciate you just helping my channel to grow and just interacting me th with me through the comments and everything. And as you can see, I am just measuring out the second side to make sure that they are even. And again, just adding the twine to the edges of this piece. And this was a really easy project. It took a lot more time than I thought it would have taken, but I just didn't factor in the drying time for the jars. Because you know, the Rust-Oleum brand dries pretty quickly, but for some reason with these, I don't know if it's because it was a lot cooler outside when I spray painted them, they didn't dry as fast. And now I'm just making sure that this fits well. And now I'm just going around the edges because I didn't have enough um, of the rope on that side. And so it's kind of off a little bit. And so I was just adding some to balance it out. And as you can see, this planter is coming together. And then I'm measuring to see if my lettering was off a lot. And typically this happens where I have to uh, manipulate the lettering once I put it down. But that's only because I hate measuring this, guys. I hate measuring anything. I try to eye it. And now in our second DIY, we are going to create a Hobby Lobby inspired Christmas centerpiece. And what I've taken is a piece of board that my husband had cut and I am getting ready to, well, you saw me paint it using that Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color white. And now I have this foam brick and I am getting ready to cut it using that pool noodle knife and slice it basically down the middle. And now I am just painting around the edges of it and drying it with the heating tool. This heating tool has lasted for over a year, but I tell you what, it may have been two years, but this thing be acting up sometime now. You'll hear me, see me periodically just hit it on the table. It act like it just overheat. And now I'm just taking some different picks that I purchased from Dollar Tree, and I am just going to basically fill the planter with those. Now I do have a little confession. I've had this done for a while and this was one of those that I was going to include in my collaboration with Felicia with Be OK Media until I read the actual um, requirements for it. And so I said, oh, this isn't a tree. <laughs> so I had to go back and come up with something else and it was so fun because I did recreate um, an inspired tree from Hobby Lobby. It was the Grinch tree. And again, just so you guys know, it was not a dupe. It was an inspired piece. And inspired pieces are just that. You take what you've seen and then you just kind of make it your own or bring it as close to the original as possible. And a dupe is just that, is you are duplicating what you've seen um, from the original. And as you can see, I have these picks with the um, pine cones on them. And I did purchase those from, again, Dollar Tree. And then I'm just adding some more of the paint to give it more of the snow field on it. This turned out to be beautiful, guys. This, I mean, I cannot lie to you. This video is not giving this piece justice because it is beautiful.
beautiful. And I'm not just saying it because I'm joy. I am saying it because it's the truth. It's a beautiful piece. And I'm going to have a hard time departing with this. So I don't know. I may take it and use it as a centerpiece on my um, book bin at work. I don't know. It's pretty. And I'm just basically filling in the blanks. And now you see me taking some of these um, ornaments, these Christmas ornaments, the, bul the bulbs, and I'm just going to add it throughout this piece. Again, this is a Hobby Lobby inspired piece, and you will be seeing the Hobby Lobby version as well as the Joyful Designs version in the reveal of this video. And you guys got to tell me what you think. y'all think I'm struggling here <laughs> why not just cut it just the whole thing what was I thinking now it's like okay cut the freaking plastic and we have balls guys <laughs> and I'm just gluing them down where there were some ball spots and um, just to fill it out Now you see me just working the piece. It, I just, I'm telling you guys, I'm getting tongue twisted. This is just a pretty piece. It's the traditional colors for Christmas. I, I just, I just love it. And that's the Hobby Lobby version. And it's pretty too. It's hard to see because it was a photo. But then here's mine. Our joyful designs. It is so pretty. It's cute. I absolutely love this piece. Is it not gorgeous? I love it. I, I just, it's just beautiful. beautiful and then here's the noel hobby lobby version of the noel planter and this is mine and as you see i had to use the white one as a rise piece or a raised piece because it wouldn't fit now those jars fit originally but it seemed like after i painted it child <laughs> it didn't want to fit in there so i may recreate this so that it's fitting down in the planter correctly but yeah, guys, is that not cute? It's cute too. And again, the photo is not giving justice to the, these pieces at all. Guys, if you have enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up, share the video. And guys, until the next DIY, have a great week.